because everybody is running away from the sugar flooding the market. Nobody is coming out to tell us where the sugar is coming from. And the millers are using it as an excuse to exploit the farmers. Well, we are suspecting it is coming from the, the neighboring countries, and the, the neighboring countries like Kenya, Rwanda, have imported it from Brazil. But the unfortunate bit, this sugar comes to Uganda without a tax. And when they come to Uganda, when the sugar comes to Uganda, it affects our sugar industry, where government is getting a lot of tax. When there is a surplus of sugar in the market, it means the price of sugar will have to fall. And once it falls, the miller will not turn his weapon against those who are flooding the market, but against me, who is supplying the raw material. The price per ton in Masinde has been at 141,000 shillings, but now it has gone up to 100,000 shillings only. And in Busoga, it has been at 175,000 shillings, but now it has fallen up to 130,000 shillings only. And this is a great loss to a farmer. These people are asking the mirrors to fund them to make a law with the government. Government is asking the mirrors to fund them with, you know, 500 million shillings for 10 days to go and do a peer review without informing the farmers. Our question is, if we are stakeholders, and indeed we are, why don't they ask us also to contribute? If real government is broke, what type of law are they going to come out with if they are being funded by the same mirrors? Well, our petition has been received by the Secretary to the Speaker of the Parliament of Uganda. What are you expecting? Uh, we are expecting the MPs to look into this, discuss and find a remedy.